might go up in the air or it might break in half. This is what it's like driving a boat at night in Homer, Alaska. Whoops! Well, I'm going to be driving blind now. So far, it doesn't feel like we've hit anything, so I think we're doing okay. Hey, today you are here with me at my landing craft, the John Calvin. We're getting ready to do a bunch of work to the boat and before I can do anything, I've got to repair the gate. The gate is like the tailgate on a pickup truck. It's, it's the ramp and the ramp is what we use to uh, drive things on and off this boat. John Calvin is a 1960s vintage LCM-8, landing craft mechanized, uh, landing craft, an old military boat. And uh, we had a little whoops last fall in unloading something. We dinged up the gate and found some rust and a corner of my ramp uh, collapsed. And so before I can do any work on this thing, I've got to patch it. I'm hoping to do some major repairs, but today we're here just to patch it good enough to go. We have an emergency, sort of. We have a friend who needs to go do some welding across the bay. The ferry isn't running. All the other boats are up on land. And what we're going to do is uh, the corner of this gate is where the pulley attaches and the cable attaches to pick the ramp up and down with a big winch. Um, we need a very strong attach point. So that's the most critical thing is right now. And we're going to replace it uh, probably uh, with a big piece of pipe, a new pad eye, a whole bunch of new stuff so that when we pick this ramp up and down, it'll work. I'm here with my crew, Joe and Tracy, and uh, we've got a little ding on the corner of the ramp on the boat. So what we're having to do is straighten it out and put a new piece in. We're gonna, so we're going to start by cutting the corner off, pushing it down. We're going to put a new piece of pipe in the front get rid of some rusty spots so we can make this gig work. I got a trip tomorrow. Right now we're fitting the front of the gate in here, piece of eight inch pipe. It's going to go across here. This is what hits the beach. This has to be really strong. Then we're putting a pulley on the end of it over there and that's where the cable is going to go up. Okay, what we're doing right now is putting this boat back together. We've got the front pipe in. We've got this big pad eye welded on here. We don't know where we're going to cut the holes yet, but this is where we're going to cut the holes and the pulleys are going to hook to this. That's where we're going to lift the gate back up again. Then when we've got this uh, plate welded on, uh, then we'll try it out. Now, in case some of you guys don't know what welding is, this is a welding rod. This gets electrically hooked up to the ground and the steel and this melts and it turns to steel and it becomes part of it and it's like super cool glue. Okay, I'm welding this pad eye on the end of this pipe. This pad eye is gonna have a pulley hook to it. Cable's coming through here. This is what's gonna pick this ramp up. Uh, this is first weld. This is I'm putting a second pass on it. It's got to be super strong. This gate weighs about five tons. If there's something on it, it could be 10 tons. 
20 tons of pressure on here. It's got a three quarter inch cable holding this up, double parted. Double parted means it's down and back. The pulley comes down and goes back. One cable can pull twice as much that way. So uh, we're gonna try it out here in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We're down to the very last little bit of our job here. We got this had I welded on the end of the pipe. We got a shackle going in here. We just burned a hole. Take a look at it real close. Take a nice look. This is a shackle. On a boat, it's a shackle. On land, it's a clevis. So we're going to bring the pulley over here and hook it up now. We got the moment of truth going down here now. We got. Uh, aye, 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 this is hot. And what moment we've been waiting for here to see if this son of a gun is going to work, okay? Okay, that's hooked up. Uh, so I've got the engine started in the boat. I got to drove turn the hydraulics on. We have one more. Uh, we got to hook the end of this cable up to the winch. We turn the hydraulics on, we pull the lever. Okay. It might go up in the air or it might break in half. We don't know right now. Cable is hooked up. Joe's doing the last minute cleaning. It's getting dark. We have to take a welding truck to Seldovia because they have a damaged ramp over there. There's no other boat that can do this. We've got to get her done. Tide's coming in. Here you can see the tide is coming in. About another half an hour, this boat will float. We're going to go park this in the harbor for the night. Yeah, this is the cable. This is the winch line. And uh, looks like I can't quite reach it. So. Oh man, it's getting dark. I got to get moving here. Oh. This is the final link here. See if this thing's gonna pick the gate up. Right there. That's tight. We're ready to go. I'm gonna go upstairs and turn on the uh see if I can get some deck lights to work right quick. And then we're gonna try to wind up this cable. Okay, this is a big test. I'm raising the gate lever right here. There comes the cable. Pretty doggone dark here right now. Joe's headlights are down here. We got some of the house lights working. Want to see what else is gonna go on here? Oh, whoa! White's camera action. Yoo-hoo! Yeah. Turn them on, Tracy. Yeah. Golly, we got some action. Okay. As soon as we float, we're going away. This is a pretty happy day for old OK. Yes, sir. Uh, got the John Calvin lit up Got the ramp sort of working. We're not quite done with it, but it's good enough to go Can't see a whole bunch of what's going on here, but we are presently pulling away from the dock uh, I have to keep it dark so I can see what in the world I'm doing. This is us pulling away from the beach in the dark Right I'm out now. I'm gonna thinking about turning off my searchlight Tracy, you want to turn that third slide off? And give it a little bit of reverse. It's coming around. You can turn the light on again. We'll go ahead and use the light as long as we're here in the harbor. Okay, you can see us swinging around there. This is what it's like driving a boat at night in Homer, Alaska. Okay, here we're going to put this one in reverse forward. we got to have it dark in here so that I can see what I'm doing. Probably almost time to turn off that searchlight again because uh, yeah, I can see better. 
believe it or not, uh, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, it's okay because I can't see you. But uh, the water is shiny and the land is not shiny. And so I'm gonna stay in the shiny parts right now. Uh, behind me is the GPS and the radar. And ahead of me is a uh, jetty and uh, uh, the edge of the harbor and hopefully no rocks. That's pretty unnerving driving around in the dark. And even that GPS next to me is a little bit too bright. But I don't have time right now to uh, turn the darkness, turn the lightness down. So it's giving me a little bit of light blindness. I'm going to head straight to the homestead. Uh, you can see my line. This line here is where I'm going. Whoops. Well, I'm going to be driving blind now. I don't know what I did, but I ain't got time to fix it in the middle of this channel. We got home. Oh, we got home. Split screen. Okay, there we go. Split now. Oh, I don't want to have split now. Oh, combo. I don't know. Chart and radar. How about that? Yeah. Yahoo. Okay, here we go again. And so far, it doesn't feel like we've hit anything, so I think we're doing okay. So basically, when you're driving a boat at night, you have to rely on the lights uh, and uh, and uh, the reflection on the water. You get really, really good night vision, and any lights in the cabin hinder you. So the idea is to stay as dark as possible, and uh, that's the safest way to be until somebody hits you because they don't see you. So, <laughs> in big traffic, you want lots of lights. But other than that, lights really hamper your navigation ability. So, uh, we're going to turn it off now, and we're going to uh, turn it back on when we go in the harbor, okay? Okay, so here we are in uh, the harbor. i got to show you a little view of uh, this is sitting next door to us. we got the deckhand out front. Uh, John on the bow there. Here we sit in the harbor, harbor safe and sound. And I'm real happy. Uh, it's been a long, long day. I'm really tired. It's about midnight. Can't wait to get to sleep. Uh, tomorrow starts another day. This is the end of this chapter. I'm gonna go take a nap. And if you stay tuned, maybe I'll uh, take you along on this trip across the water. So let's go to bed, let's wake up and have another adventure.